All right, so your Black & Decker 8000 BTU portable AC comes with a controller, all right? So on the back of it, you have this little finger thing here. You just pop it. And you're going to notice you need AAA batteries, which we have right here. These are AAA Duracells. You see that? And so usually your negative goes where your spring is. So let's go ahead and put that one in there. And it looks like we only need two. Put the other one in and now we're in now all we got to do is put our, our little door on so it slides in there you got to kind of pop it out and then pop it in so now it's ready to go all right we're going to show you how to use this remote this is the universal power sign it's the same as this thing here right so if i press this it should turn on and it probably go to the last temperature for whatever it was bam now you can be standing up to seven meters away from the unit itself but um, anyway there it goes it's on 72 now, if I want to change the fan, I can go to this icon, which is the same as this one right here. I click it. It goes to auto. That's auto, right? I click it again. It goes to low. It takes a second or two. See, now it dropped down. And there's medium fan. Right? And there's high fan. It takes a while. It gets there. So I'm just going to go to low fan so we have less distraction and noise. All right, now you get two up arrows, like you got a down arrow and an up arrow here. Now you get an up arrow and a down arrow here. So if I want the temperature higher, I click here. If I want it lower, I click here. And you see, and it changes correspondingly here and on there. And uh, next, um, if we go uh, over here, these are these are modes. So if you look here, you see modes. So if I click this, it's gonna change the mode. The first mode that it'll change to is dehumidify. So we should see a D and an H. You don't see it really here, but you see it here. If I click it again, it should go to fan. See, that's fan. We're at fan now. The next thing, if I click, it should go to snowflake or ice cold AC. And it's right back to AC. Bam, done. Now, if you want to, if you come into the room and it's super warm and you just want to blast it, you go to this. See that little hurricane thing? Hit it. Bam. And it brings it all the way down to 64. And now it's going to really crank and cool the room. If you click it again, it'll go back to the regular temperature, okay? And then to turn it off, all you do is hit the power sign, and you just go ahead and click right here. And bam, it just goes off. And that's how you use the controller. Now, it does have a timer on it, but that's more involved. And, you know, for a unit like this, I don't know why anybody would use a timer because you're just cooling one room and you're only cooling it when you go in there. So I would think the best way to do that would just be turn it on, turn it off when you leave. And if you want to set the timer for different times during the day, you can. It's more involved. You have to go to the manual to figure that out.